I have my whisk whipping up my buttercream previously. And now I'm gonna swap to the paddle because I want the air bubbles out. So I'm gonna put it on here. Let us put it on stir, just on one for a few minutes and let it mellow out all those air bubbles. Because you can see a bunch of air bubbles in here. It's great, fine for piping, piping cupcakes, but it's not so great for doing a perfect coating on your cake. Okay, I finished with my paddle. Let me actually put this down a little bit. Now you're probably saying to yourself, what the heck, why are you putting on buttercream so thick? Well, that's because I'm going to let this harden and then we're gonna scrape it. And have a perfect 90 degree angle at the top. And I even frost things like this when I'm gonna put fondant on top because then at least I have a perfect surface on which I'm putting fondant and then when I put my 16th of an inch thick fondant, nice and nice crazy thin, um, people prefer to eat buttercream over fondant. So if they peel off that fondant and there's like a chintzy layer of buttercream underneath there, that's kind of annoying. Okay. Now, I take my bench scraper, put it on that prep board and make sure, I like to put my pinky finger right there to make sure it stays there and I'm not angling it that it stays level. And then I smooth it out. And I can see if there's areas that I didn't quite get enough in an area, like a certain spot. It's not even. I think that might be the only one really well. Maybe just a tiny bit right there. Okay. Then take my paint trimmer, which is really thin. Again, keeping it level on that prep board. across the top. Pretty nice and level. Okay, so like this, we're gonna put it in the refrigerator for probably, I don't know, hour to two hours, and then we will bring it back out and we'll scrape it. Okay. All right, now our cake is firm. This, uh, Swiss, bleh, this Swiss meringue buttercream, I can't talk now. Swiss meringue buttercream is now firm and we can scrape it. Now you're like, Charity, what are you talking about? What do you mean scrape it? So I've got my bench scraper again, and I'm going to take it along the cold buttercream, and I'm gonna scrape it perfect. I'm gonna clean it off after every scrape. See how it scrapes? Again, make sure you keep that really level right there. Now for the final, we'll use the paint trimmer. And make it super, super perfect. There we go. Oops. There you have it. Now it's ready for fondant. Hope you enjoyed the Arctic peppermint cake and I really know you're gonna enjoy eating it.